Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. Today is January 1st, so we got to talk about 2018 on the YouTube channel and what happened and you know, all the stuff that went down and everything, really. I, I have not recorded a video in a week, by the way. So 2019, or I'm already saying 20, 2018 was, um, it was a strange year. It was a year full of progress, too. The biggest thing that I noticed in 2018 was I really started to work on thumbnails a lot. Thumbnails are starting to look really, really good. And I also started making Oblivion videos more. Like, you know, before I could actually make Oblivion videos, but um, now I started making a lot of them and started building a community a little bit more than I expected. And I also started live streaming again a lot. Like, I know last year, 2017, I did a lot of live... Ooh, sorry about that. A lot of live streaming. And I mean, it was fun, but... It wasn't fulfilling, and now I'm kind of coming in with a good balance of live stream and videos. In the beginning of 2018, I got sick a lot. Like, I I think I did the math, and from either September or October of 2017 to the end of March 2018, I got sick about every other week. And it, it just sucked. I did make more friends this year, too. That is a big thing. I started playing a lot with Rag. I think I was playing with them last year, I don't remember. You know, my friend Fuse and some other real life friends too. So that's the progress there. And I also kind of am starting to strike a bit more of a balance between working and not working on videos. And it's kind of been interesting. I've also been working on getting better at games faster. It's really weird. It's like I'm doing a YouTube esports combination thing. So let's we'll start with the YouTube videos. Um, if you stayed on the, if you've been on the channel for a lot, you know that I kind of have a tendency. I'll like make a video, let's just say every day, and I'll be like, I'm gonna make two every day, and go bam, 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 and then I'll do like one every three days. You know, I'll slow way down, then I'll go really fast and really slow, and really fast and really slow. And I mean, it's cool, it's fine, but I don't like that. I like being consistent because then it's easier to change stuff around and easier to make progress. So I've been working towards that a little bit more. Uh, in between Christmas and the New Year was really weird because I just got a whole bunch of stuff that I had to do. And stuff that I wanted to do. So I basically made no videos, but for most of this year I've been pretty consistent when it comes to it. Again, those thumbnails, man. This, the main thing for me is always thumbnails. Because what's, what's crazy about thumbnails to me is they are a very a visual art, still picture. I suck at art. Like, hand-drawn art. Hold on a second, let me find something here. So I was cleaning my room today and I found this art piece right here, okay? Now, all this art piece is, is it's just sunglasses on a table. This is for college, by the way. They're supposed to be aviator sunglasses. And I had to make like one of the squares. I had to point the squares in different directions and I had to make a different one. But it's like, this is what I'm making it. I think I made this 18 years old. This is the level of art that I can do. You know, some people had all this crazy symmetry going on. And I'm just like, I can't do it. And so Photoshop art, it's opened the doors to a new medium that I really like. Because I really like the storytelling that I'm starting to learn with thumbnails. That's something I learned a lot. You know, uh, last year... The big improvement was the overall quality of thumbnails when it comes to being able to read text and see all the elements. And now I'm starting to tell stories in this. A good And a really good example of this is a thumbnail I made about Frost and Capcan and Rainbow Six Siege. That's one of my favorite thumbnails I've ever made because the text was there. There was the laser beams and the frost traps and Frost versus Capcan. And I just, I just really liked that thumbnail and I thought it was really, really good. And it only took me a half hour to an hour to actually make the thumbnail. So it's, it's nice to see the time come back after, you know, I can make something like that in a half hour when before it would take me two or three hours to make. You know, I, I think one of the coolest things I started on YouTube, which I wanted to go daily with it, but I didn't see the point in going daily with it now, is the vlog and how now 
I don't have to look back at old videos to like figure out what I was doing back then. I, there's like a log now of stuff that I've done. I have a vlog that I didn't post. It was about a power outage. It's so stupid. But, you know, it was nice to... I learned how to vlog with a phone. Like, effectively. And it's little skill building like that this entire year that's been amazing. This year... I don't talk about this, I don't talk about my finances very much, but this year financially, there was a lot of regrets. You know, I should have stuck to the Steam blockchain more. You know, I should have not tried to day trade with cryptocurrency. I should have not even launched my Amazon product. And I learned from all of those, and yeah, I guess it was, quote, expensive learning, but I learned from it. And that's, you know, really important to me that I learned a lot this year in 20, 2018. And I hope that because of the stuff that I learned, I can keep learning, you know? I don't have to day trade and lose $500 to know when and when not to day trade. I don't have to launch an Amazon product to learn all the nuances of Amazon. I have a basic understanding of how to launch an Amazon product now. Basic understanding of how to film with a phone. I have all these little skills that I can apply. You know, I haven't even talked about eBay. eBay skills, it's, it's amazing, the eBay skills that I've learned. So I said the thumbnails. I don't even remember the other thing that I was talking about, the improvements of some other thing. But I started, oh yeah, the, the getting good at video games. That's something that I've been working a lot on. And it's related to a personal thing, which is complaining. I used to complain a lot. And I still complain too much about things for my liking, which I am very, when it comes to complaining and trying to be humble, I am, like, I am super extremely stingy on it. I'm like, if it's not 99.99%, I'm frustrated with with it. So, you know, complaining and stuff, I was like, well, I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege a lot, and I'm like, the only way I'm going to get better at this game is if I just stop complaining, it's, it's, it's a video game. And it made it so when I played Siege, I was happier, and I started getting better at the game, because I would, like... Like, the other day, I, like, shot a guy in the shoulder and then right above his head. And instead of being like, oh, it should have been a headshot, I was like, oh, shot him in the shoulder. Big deal. And then I was like, I kind of, like, thought about it. I'm like, I could comp the recoil a little bit more on this gun. I was like, there. Boom. Done. I wasn't even pissed. And then my accuracy, I think, got better with that gun. I don't remember what gun I was using. So it's just things like that. And little things. Little incremental things that have made me improve a lot this year, and I'm really, really happy about it. That's always my goal every year. Like, I don't have specific New Year's resolutions. I kind of figure it out. I kind of wing it. But my always overall goal is to improve over the, you know, every year. Like, I should be able to look back, like, when I was 19. I'm 20. Uh, look back. I'm 19. I look like a child compared to 20-year-old me. You know, when I was when I was 19, I'm like, you know what? That was my goal, was I should look back of when I was 19 and look like a child, because I look back to 18, I'm a child. 18 to 17, I'm a child. 17 to 16, I'm a child, you know? And so, that was really when I found a good path, and I could start working towards it. And, you, you know, I, of course, you know, I've made mistakes. I've promised to make videos that I haven't made, or delayed a crap ton. Promised to plan stuff out, haven't planned stuff out, but it just, it happens, you know? I'm getting better at it little, little by little. That's something that I want to work towards a lot in 2019 and probably 2022 I might need to is the little by little progress that you need to make. You know, the little tiny like, you know, out of 100 times you complain 20, now you only complain 19, you know, something stupid like that that really helps you track your progress and be a better person. So, I mean, that was the YouTube channel in 2018 for 2019. I mean, I haven't set a... I usually set a video goal. It's been all over the place this year. Um, but this year, I just want to enjoy the channel and enjoy life and have, like, a good balance. That's what... When I have... I love having time budgets and money budgets, like, down to the dollar, down to the minute. I love it. And I like... I like it. So that's what I want to try to do this year is that. Because I know it's going to make me more productive. I can't see the results now, but I know it's going to make me more productive. Because when I have done that, I've been more productive. 
So that's all I really have to say about 2019 or 2018, guys. Thank you for sticking around. I mean, the channel's at past 1,500 subscribers. It's a lot of people. After I made my first channel, and I was like, I'm going to get 6,000 subscribers in six months. And then I got like 15, 20. I was like, heart I don't know why, but I was heartbroken. And then I was like, I'm never going to get to 1,000. And now I'm, here I am like three and a half years later at 1,500. It's crazy. You know, it's, it's the future for me. And I'm, you know, and it's, it sucks watching people leave the, not the channel, but the platform. It sucks like when someone is making YouTube videos and you can see that they like it, but they're caught up in the numbers. You know, I'm subscribed to a couple of channels that have just died because they had the talent, they did not have the mindset. And it sucks watching them all go, you know. It's almost like I'm a turtle, because honestly my channel's growing pretty slow compared to a lot of people that become successful. Not a lot of people that stay, but a lot of people that get success for a couple of years. But it's like, it's like you're a turtle going down a racetrack and you see all these rabbits pass you and then as you're walking, there's like dead rabbits along the trail. <laughs> that That's the way, that that's the best way to I explain it. Or crying rabbits or depressed rabbits or like, that's the best way to explain it. And it sucks, but I just got to make it better, you know? I gotta do my own thing, stick to my lane, and work on my own stuff. So thank you everyone for sticking around, subscribing, liking, disliking, doing everything for the channel for me. I really appreciate it. I don't say it very much because I think if I say it too much, it takes the value out of it. But let's hope that 2019 is better than 2018. It's gonna be hard to do because 2018 was really, really, really good. 2019, here we come. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, and year of whatever I decide to make. I guess that works, yeah. I'll see you guys this year and next year and every year afterwards.